So, hey guys, Chauser here, and yeah, this will be my second team for the escape, Kakao Island, and this will do the Sanji, Pudding and Capone Chopper Man mission, and yeah, I try to keep it as accessible as possible, like, we want Snake Man, easy to reroll for, been around for a long time, common. Uh, again, that Merkono is not required, it's just a nice extra if you have her. You'll have to just deal with blindness if you don't have her. Uh, Capone, available for 50 medals in the corn shop, definitely pick him up if you don't have him. This pudding was available recently as free to play, so yeah, and this Kolo Komorosaki is also free to play. So yeah, this stage we're going to use the Luffy Sanji special to get a lot of recovery orbs and healing. Right after we're using 6 plus Capone to get Big Father. Chiffon is not required but it's nice to get some extra healing. And yeah, we want to eat all the recovery orbs while we'll break the barrier optimally. With this team we don't have a lot of leeway turn-wise so I'd really try and beat this uh, turn 1. So at this stage we're going to swap Shanks crew and we're going to use Snake Man special. The switches aren't that harsh this run but yeah try and keep them the same. Like it's good to get into this stage as a uh, quick Shanks crew so you can swap to Psy. Bit high captain multiplier. But yeah the damage isn't that tight so. Just hit with the weakest units first. And yeah, we leave one alive so we get one turn of free stalling. Yeah, we're going to stall a bit now just to get uh, Luffy Sanji and uh, We Want Snake Man in particular, his special back. And we need to do a bit of stalling on Perospero anyway with this team because if you haven't noticed, we don't have anything that removes Rainbow Shield. And. Yeah, it just makes sense. We need to stall anyway, so why not stall on Perospero? Like, usually the damage it does is an issue, but, but we have a big father here with an amazing amount of HP. In this run, this big father will never break. And <laughs> that's actually kind of insane. But it also shows that the damage output isn't that high from the enemies. But yeah, having been far at the entire run is mostly useful for the final stage because Big Father stops the captain swap. So that just makes it a lot more consistent to deal with that stage. So yeah, we enter this stage with Luffy and then we just swap Luffy Sanji every turn. And we want to try and get as many matching orbs as possible. Like Snake, we want Snake Man in particular. Try really try and get the matching orb on him. You can re already try and get it during the stage prior to this. Just hitting with him, trying to get the strength orb or such. But yeah, just keep swapping Luffy Sanji and hitting with something with a bad orb. So yeah, just one more turn of stalling. And then it's going to take two turns to take out Perospero. So yeah, this is the main reason this pudding is nice. Like, she's mainly here because she is a very accessible pudding. Since she re re was available recently. But she also removes the despair. So that means we can burst this turn. Which is helpful, obviously. So yes, yeah, burst and make sure to hit with the strength units last. Try and get him as low as possible. Like something like that is okay. Like I missed a few perfects. If I hit all perfects, I might have even have killed, and that's not optimal since Snake Man wasn't ready yet. Like with this team, we exit 
the stage before this when Snake Man is on 8. And that makes the CD work out if you follow this strategy. And we want Luffy Sanji to be strength when we leave this stage because we want to swap the next stage. Because that stops a negative orb debuff. So yeah, this team is a bit convoluted I guess, but it's because I wanted to make it as accessible as possible. I will be making more teams that are a bit more or less free to play friendly, so to say. But yeah, the color com is only for this stage, but she's very nice. She does all you, we need from her. She removes the, all the bind, all the damage press hold. She gives matching orb, so yeah, they are super solid. Swap chance crew, get chain lock. We want snake man for orb boost this stage and next, and we want to hit at least three perfects. And yeah, as you see, we have leeway of one turn with this team, so we'll be two turns for at this stage, so... Yeah, that's just good to have in mind if something goes wrong, like you have one turn of leeway, if you lose more than one turn, then the run is not going to work. And yeah, this stage just swap Luffy Sanji, use special, they're going to try and swap Captain, but Capone blocks it. And yeah, then just start with Smoothie. Initiate the chain with Capone, hit with all the Psy units, and then with the strength units on Oven. And yeah, that's the team. Thanks for watching, see you next time.